Hey, this is John with Estimator introducing a new tool that we've just come up with. This is called the Slab Tool. And what this does is it allows us to create 3D slabs of any sort. A slab may be a concrete slab, it may be drywall, it may be subfloor, uh, it may be any uh, type of 3D uh, slab that you create with your own uh, workflow. In this case, what we have here, this is the actual tool, this is the icon here. And what you can do is you can edit your own slab types. So if you were to click on this edit slab types, this is what comes with it uh, that we have preloaded. Uh, but you can use your imagination and anything that you're going to be modeling with a slab of any sort. Um, you could customize this list, save it, and then refresh the slab types. This is just the same way as we do in takeoff length and takeoff area. But what we have here is we have these favorites that we've allowed. So you can choose from your favorites. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel each time. So as you're, uh, or you could build a new slab in here. So let's say that you've, um, you've filled in the parameters for the slab style that you want. You could then save it to favorites. And you can also edit your favorites. So this just expands the power of it a bit to, to customize it. So we'll do a case in point. Uh, it comes preloaded with several slab types. So let's try this basement slab. This basement slab type is basement slab from our slab types. We put in the thickness. Now a positive thickness will go up from as you trace. A negative thickness will go down as you trace. Then you can assign the material file that you want to use with that. Uh, for instance, concrete, the concrete texture. I want it to look like concrete. Then you can further add your favorite layer that you want to use to that. Now in my template, my basement slab layer will report out uh, quantities uh, using Estimator. So that's why I have it on that layer so that I instantly see results. So let's take a look. So the next thing we're going to do to create this geometry is simply click the, the Trace Slab. And you'll notice the icon goes in and we can just start tracing around a, a perimeter. Maybe you're tracing a floor plan or just uh, however you want to do it. Now you notice that you see as we go we're getting this sort of 3D ghost uh, outline here. Uh, that tells you that we're doing something in 3D. Now I'm just going to simply infer the origin point here and then close right out. And you can see I instantly have a slab that's concrete and four inches thick. And if I were to draw an estimator and then I go to my layers tab and I select that basement slab, I instantly see all of my results. If I ran a quick report on that, these are all the costs that I have associated with my layer for basement slabs. So pretty quick and easy. So that was just a case in point of a slab. So let's pop over and look at another application. This is just a little simple shed. Uh, but what if we wanted to do drywall ceiling in here quickly and easily? So for drywall ceiling, let's say we're going to go in negative half inch for this ceiling and the material is just a nice color for the ceiling and the layer would be for your drywall ceiling, whichever layer you choose to put it on. Tracing a slab here, we're going to notice that it's going to go down once we get the 3D ghost slab here. It's going down in position. And we'll close this out right here to this corner. Now when we click on that there and we select Estimator and we go to our Layers tab that has this particular layer in it, drywall ceiling, we see we get three boards reporting out. Further, let's cut on, the, let's say we have a little floor system in here. Um, so we'll cut that on. And we could say put subfloor down. So let's choose subfloor, three quarters of an inch. It's going to look like OSB, and it's going to be on our layer. So we can trace the slab here, and it's going to go up in direction because that's the desired uh, generation here. So then as we close, we have our subfloor. Again, if we were to open it up in Estimator, Layers tab, selecting this subfloor layer, you can see that we have reporting out our subfloor screws and adhesive. So that is the slab tool. It has many uses. It's just uh, limited to your creativity, but hopefully it's a time saver and will uh, help you in your workflow. Thanks.